It's Umsum time! What if our homes turned into rockets? No big deal. Umsum is already a rocket. <laughs> oh, Umsum. Firstly, if our homes turned into rockets, poor delivery guys may keep on chasing us. Hmm. Secondly, if our homes turn into rockets, astronauts may have to change their profession. Hmm. Thirdly, rockets are very, very fast. If our homes turn into rockets, huh? supercars will be of no use anymore. Hmm. Fourthly, if our homes turn into rockets, all our furniture may start flying out of the windows. Hmm. Lastly, if our homes turn into rockets, getting out of our home will not be an easy task now. Hmm. What if everyone had a private jet? No big deal. I already have a private jet. Oh, I'm some. Let me explain. If everyone had a private jet, traffic on our roads will definitely decrease, but the traffic in the skies will skyrocket. Shops to service and repair private jets may open up everywhere. Now let me explain the same in a comic way. Firstly, if everyone had a private jet, there would be absolutely no traffic on roads. Traffic cops may take up a new profession. Hmm. Secondly, if everyone had a private jet, skies may become extremely, extremely crowded. Hence, instead of flying, birds may start walking on streets. Mm. Lastly, if everyone had a private jet, private jets are extremely expensive to maintain. We may be left with no cash in our pockets. Hmm. What if everybody had a supercar? No big deal. Um, some already has one. Oh, um, some. Firstly, we may need to carry it instead of driving it. Are you crazy? Let me explain. If everybody had a huh? supercar, roads would become super crowded. We may have no option left but to carry our supercar. Hmm. Secondly, there may be no cash left in our pockets. Yikes, but why? Simple, if everybody had a supercar, supercars are extremely huh? expensive to maintain. We may be left with no cash in our pockets. Hmm. Lastly, thieves would be overjoyed. Huh? Why would I be overjoyed? Simple, if everybody had a supercar, thieves would have many, many options to choose from. They will become overjoyed. Hmm. What if we lived underground? Cool. Um, some is the king of the underground. Huh? Oh, um, huh? some. If we lived underground, due to the absence of humans, Earth may actually become green again. Mm. But we will not get to experience huh? fresh air or sunlight for a long time. Hmm. It will get difficult to distinguish between night or day. Water leakages from above may prove to be a common problem for everyone. Hmm. Earthquakes may cause all our underground houses to collapse. Hmm. Our underground houses may be filled with ants, rats, cockroaches, and spiders. Hmm. Encounters between snakes and humans will increase. Hmm. Due to human overpopulation, many underground animal species may start going extinct. Hmm. Humans may start living deep underground inside Earth. Temperatures will definitely increase. Hmm. We may start discovering new species living deep underground inside Earth. Hmm. What if the sun exploded? Don't worry. Um, some will provide light to everyone. <laughs> oh, um, some. Firstly, one planet in the solar system might also vanish. Which one? Simple. Huh? If the sun exploded, Mercury, 
the closest planet to the sun might also break into pieces. Hmm. Secondly, all the planets might get extremely tired. But why would we get tired? The nearest star is far, far away. If the sun exploded, planets will have a long, long journey ahead. Huh? Hmm. Lastly, we may need to purchase hearing aids for all the planets. Really? Yep. If the sun exploded, the noise caused by the explosion might make all the planets go deaf. Hmm. What if our hair was made of electricity? Then Um Sum's hairstyle would look smashing. Oh, Um Sum. <laughs> Firstly, if our hair was made of electricity, then people may figure out creative ways of using that electricity. Like what? Well, people may start charging their mobiles as well as turning on lights using their hair. Mm. Secondly, if our hair was made of electricity, huh? hairdressers may leave for a different planet. Oh no, but why? because they might start getting shocked huh? while cutting our hair. Hmm. Lastly, if our hair was made of electricity, even aliens may try to experiment with <laughs> their hair. We all know what happens next, right? <laughs> hmm. What if our eyes were as big as our head? Huh? Huh? Ha ha ha! Oh, um, some. <laughs> Firstly, some people might get very, very rich. Confused? Hmm. Don't get confused. If our eyes huh? were as big as our head, we may need to wear a lot of sunglasses. Hence, people selling sunglasses might <laughs> get very, very rich. Hmm. Secondly, people may not notice aliens anymore doesn't seem possible, right? Hmm. It is possible, because if our eyes were as big as our head, we may actually look much weirder than aliens. Hence, people may not notice them anymore. Hmm. Lastly, it won't matter how well thieves try to hide themselves. Do you know why? Simple, if the eyes of cops huh? were as big as their head, they would now be able to easily <laughs> catch thieves. Hmm. Why are clouds huh? white? Simple. Because I paint them huh? every day. Mm. Oh, I'm some. <laughs> Sunlight or white light is a combination of all visible colors of light. Hmm. Each color has a different wavelength. Red light has the longest wavelength. Now, small atmospheric particles that exist in the sky scatter shorter wavelengths more efficiently. Hence, the sky appears blue. Hmm. But, in the case of a cloud, the water droplets present in them are much bigger. They scatter all the wavelengths of light approximately with the same effectiveness. These scattered wavelengths interact and combine to again generate white color. Hence, the cloud appears white. Hmm. Then why do clouds sometimes appear gray? Hmm. This is because the scattered light in the cloud is usually sent upwards or to the sides, thus making them appear more white <laughs> as compared to the lower portion which receives less light. Hmm.